Hey, what's going on guys? Today's video, I wanna talk about if you're thinking about going tankless or have already purchased it and what to expect going from an old natural gas or propane hot water heater to a tankless. The process is not too difficult, but I wanna talk about what you need to expect before you start the project. And like most of you, let me go ahead and walk over here. We're in a full remodel right now, but most of you guys, either your tank has gone out, you're thinking about replacing it, or it's old. Let's go around to the front portion of it. So first and foremost, some of you guys might be thinking, well, I'm just gonna go ahead and plug and play. Unfortunately, that's not the case, and I wanna walk you through the process, and again, what to expect. So this one is coming up on nine years. This is a 2013 model. It still works perfectly. But since I'm in a full remodel, I might as well do it while I have access to it while I'm building out and reframing a little bit in my house. Definitely subscribe to the channel. We're doing a full remodel. We've done a lot of projects, smart LED lights, mudding, drywall, custom window, doors, etc. But let's come back to the video here. So typically this is what your water heater is gonna look like. This is a 40 gallon, yours might be a 50 gallon. And the cheapest one I found on Home Depot that has a reputable name is $650 for a 40 gallon. I was like, well, and then after doing a little bit of research, tankless isn't that much more. Now it would be a lot cheaper. We'll get into some of the parts that we will need for the tankless that do bring the cost up. So obviously a replacement, if you already have a tank, is gonna be easier and cheaper right out the get go, but I do love tankless. I lived in a home for three years with the tankless, loved it. Endless hot water. Everyone's getting ready for church in the morning, jumping in the shower. Everyone is hot water. We're a 40 gallon. If you have a large family, it might go pretty quickly. Growing up, I remember we had to wait a little while for the fourth person to jump in the shower. So with that in mind, we are going to be doing a full installation video. That's gonna be coming up next, so make sure you're subscribed for that. But this video is gonna be about what to expect. We're gonna be right back to the video, but I wanna thank today's sponsor, which is Manscaped. They've come out with amazing new products, and of course, their brand new Lawnmower 4.0 performance package comes with a set of boxers that I highly recommend you pick up more of these. I wear these pretty much every day until I'm out, then I gotta throw them back in the washing machine. Super comfortable, great for training. The Lawnmower 4.0 Performance Package also comes with your ears and nose trimmer. All your other goodies as we can see here. And of course your Lawnmower 4.0 with LED light and ceramic blade. Waterproof so you can use it in the shower. I have full tutorial videos on this channel and we'll link that below as well. They also have their brand new straight razor and body wash. These are just a few of the new products I've gotten my hands on. If you wanna see their full lineup, it's my direct link below. It's gonna take you straight to the website. The code will be automatically applied for you. Get whatever you want, as little or as much as you want. Enjoy your products, guys. They're great products. I highly recommend them. So head below after the video is done. So I am gonna be going a little bit beyond what is required, but I'm gonna be doing new PEX piping as well. But let's go ahead and go around to the backside. Now with the new tankless, you can't use this exhaust pipe coming from your tank to a tankless. No matter what brand, Ream or Rennie, I believe you pronounce it, don't quote me on that one, the other very popular tankless brand, you need a special proprietary three by five pipe, we're gonna show you in just a second here, that gets pretty pricey. That's why most people go for the angle out the side of the house right here. It gets pretty pricey if you're trying to shoot a six foot tube up, not to mention you're gonna have to probably enlarge your hole in your ceiling in your roof as well. So we're gonna show you that, keep that in mind. So again, not quite plug and play, not too difficult if you know what you're doing, but some key factors involved. Let's go back to the parts. Okay, so this is the seven gallon per minute, perfect for two bathrooms. If you have a big house, you might wanna beef it up to the larger one. This one I believe is about 730 or $750 or so. I will have it linked in the description box below. And this particular one is gonna be for propane 
we're out here in the country, but same process applies with natural gas as well. The last property I was at had natural gas and they sell it in natural gas or they sell it in propane. This is the propane model once again, but the installation video will be very similar for natural gas. Now this tankless does require a 120 volt power outlet, which most of you guys will have conveniently probably already done. We are actually gonna be putting in a separate outlet. I do have one behind this drywall right here. Here's my box. We will be putting one in right here. Most of you guys will have this in your utility room, garage. You'll probably have an outlet already in there. Now, the reason you even need a power outlet, even though this is gonna be off of natural gas or propane, whatever one you have, is because it just needs to be plugged in for the water temperature. They call it a remote control. It's not a remote control. It's just a control unit that is mounted on your wall where you can digitally go up or down for the temperature. And mine, I had on 120 degrees for three years. Absolutely loved it. Never used full heat in the shower with the knob turned fully, and it was beautiful. Some people have it on 110, they bump it up to 120. 120 is a sweet spot. I believe this unit can actually go up to 140, but that's, yeah, 60, 80, 85 to 140. Uh, but pretty much everyone keeps it on 120. And another benefit, energy savings over a 12-year period. 800 bucks. Hey, 800 divided by 12. Yeah, not too much, but savings is savings. Next up, just like the picture we see here, we're going to need a special valve kit that you can purchase through Ream as well. Ream has their own, but this was almost half the price with amazing reviews on Amazon. Pretty much everything you see, I got at Home Depot, the vent kit we're going to show you, but this was significantly cheaper on Amazon. Stellar reviews, same exact thing. And these are gonna be your valves here. That I think was around $60. I think Ream wanted about 120, 130 for their valves. So that's gonna boost up your price a little bit there as well. You got 730, 750 on this. You got about 60 on this. And then I believe this is about $90, I believe, for the Category 3 Stainless Steel Tankless Water Heater Venting Kit. And this, again, is the venting kit that's going to go out the side of the house just like it's pictured here. This is an easier install, even though I do have the pipe going up into my roof. This is actually going to be cheaper and an easier install. And not to mention, I won't have to build out a frame to get that perfect to go straight up where the old one is. It's going to be flush against the studs going straight out like this where see how this one's brought out from the tank I would actually have to build out a small frame to line up with this hole and go straight up right there not to mention that's going to take up all this extra space here where now my unit's going to be up against the studs going out this wall right here I'm gonna have all this area here free to maybe hang up my Dyson vacuum, some utility stuff, who knows, we'll figure that out. Next up, we have ourselves a little drain tube here. That you could probably find cheaper. I actually bought that at Home Depot and I think they overcharged big time. That was like 26 bucks or something like that. I think that was kind of a rip off. You could probably find one on Amazon a lot cheaper. Next, this isn't required, especially if you're just gonna use your old tubing, but we have a couple reducers here. The water is fine to reduce it. The gas, we're gonna talk about that in just a second, or propane, gas or propane. So the water we are reducing. All right, we're gonna go into the future real quickly because I want to talk about those adapters and then we're going to go back to the past make sure you're subscribed it's fully installed works great let's get back to the video here so what i talk about in the video is i talk about these valves here which are awesome by the way definitely pick them up cheaper than rims now i didn't actually use that reducer i actually went three fourths into three fourths inch pecs i thought we were going into half inch pecs but we actually used three quarter inch pecs for all the valves. So I talk about three fourths into a half inch PEX, which you can do, but we just went three fourths into three fourths PEX instead. If you already have half inch PEX, you can use half inch PEX. You can reduce the water, you can't reduce the gas. This is a three quarter inch gas valve here, and you need any three quarter inch gas or propane line. Now we went with the flexible tubing, great. We tied it in with an adapter below the house into black iron pipe. Pecs 
was a dream to work with, and this flexible tubing was a lot easier to work with than black iron pipe. From three-fourths, which these are here, into half-inch PEX piping, we're gonna put a shutoff valve in that little utility room there for convenience and some PEX clamps as well. Not to mention PEX piping that we already have. Now with regards to natural gas or propane, this ream in particular and all the other ones that I have found have three fourths of a gas propane pipe coming into them and using a reducer from what I've heard does work. Don't quote me on that one, do your own research please, but it just won't be very effective as a three quarter pipe coming into your unit. Make sure you watch my install video for deeper explanations about that. But I just wanted to give you guys a heads up. If you are thinking about switching over from tank to tankless, what to expect. Don't just look at the price tag of 730, 750 and say, sweet, that's really cheap, let's do it. You do have, a Again, an additional 26, you could find that a little cheaper. Some of my other things, you guys probably won't use the PEX things, eh, if you will. Those weren't too expensive at all. Again, 60 for that and about 90, maximum 100 probably after tax for the special proprietary vent that is made for Ream. Other than that, I think we had some other piping and pipe goop for our propane pipe underneath the house already on hand. And besides that, there's gonna be some connectors, some propane natural gas connectors that you probably might need if your line isn't perfectly right there. That's gonna add up a little bit as well. But overall, the price of tankless has come down significantly and the max benefit is gonna be endless hot water. And it's gonna add value to your house just personally. If you're looking at reselling later on down the road, that might be an added benefit to your home's value. When people say, oh wow, they have tankless, awesome. Again, I had my unit just like this, but with natural gas for three years at my old property. Loved it, had no issues with it. So overall, I'm guessing with the connections and connectors, I'm looking at probably about 350 $5,400 over what a direct replacement would be for that 40 gallon. And I really like the fact that I'll have endless hot water. Now with that in mind, it does take longer to get to the bathroom way over here on this house. The bathroom right around the corner or the kitchen sink right over here will be quicker, but the bathroom on the way on the other side of the house will take longer because water needs to go into the system, heat up, and then crank out that way. So it will be slower than your tank. So just keep that in mind as well. I hope it has helped you make an informed decision whether you wanna pursue going tankless or not, or just replacing it with a tank version. But the more research that I did, people were confused. They didn't know that they had to buy a special tankless water heater venting kit and valves and all this stuff. So I'm just letting you know what you're expecting. The cost will be more, but not too terribly much. So hit that thumbs up button and subscribe also on the channel, guys. Make sure you're subscribed for the full install video of the tankless water system, not to mention this full remodel as well. We're doing a lot of projects in here. We've just gotten started, actually haven't just gotten started, but doors we're putting in, we're enlarging windows, we're enlarging front doors. We're doing custom closets around here. So we'll see you on the next video, guys. Take care for now. Check out your links below for anything I've mentioned in the video. We'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.